Good evening, good evening, good evening again, folks. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels, and we're going back to that horrible world known as the JRC. But before we do the usual disclaimers, again, I apologize for our appearance. Eight-hour shift, Missouri humidity, and the stupid it burns, all right? All right, in the description box, you're going to find the links to the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It's written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by autistics for autistics, wherein they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. Matter of fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so much. They've threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit. They did not remove it from the website. Well, folks, Neuroclastic has refused, so you know the drill. Please read that article and share it on all your social media. Also included in there is Neuroclastic's public statement regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding in case the JRC actually sees through with their threat. Also included in there, the Ozarks first article in regards to the Agape boarding school, now known as Don't for Help boarding school situation, a so-called Christian-themed boarding school based out of Stockton, Missouri, that takes in so-called troubled male teens, that has been pending over 21 civil lawsuits, claims, and allegations leveled against it, all which have been substantiated by the Missouri Department of Social Services, and they include the following. Sodomy, rape sexual assault, child abuse, psychological and emotional abuse, child trafficking, starvation, and that's just for starters. You have one former staff member arrested by the FBI, another a doctor still on the premises with full access to the boys up on multiple, again, substantiated claims, sodomy, rape, and sexual assault of the boys there. You have an attorney general too busy chasing after drag queens and trying and ridiculously failing to defund public libraries to actually do his job. And you got a governor off his nuts. So send help to the few remaining sane people left before we lose all of our hair. And read that article. Share it on all your social media. Also included in there, folks, as always, all the pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, Jennifer Masumba's behavioral sheet of shockable offenses, a clip out of the seven-hour ordeal undergone by Andre McCollins, the templates, this article, and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we discuss the JRC, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, please use your headphones. This channel is marked not for children for a reason. We use profanity on occasion to speak on dark subjects. So if your child is 16 and younger and they are watching this, very obviously parental supervision is advised. All right, let me take a sip here. This is... Tiffany's anti-psycho tea. Very potent stuff to drink when you've dealt with an entire day of stupid. But anyways, we're going to try to make this short and sweet because I'm exhausted, quite frankly. Consistency of behavioral strategies. As described above, verbal praise was often not contingent on X actually doing her task. Well, as we know and have read by their own handbooks, the JRC staff are doing it by rote. What happens when you do something by rote and a compliment's not actually meant? We notice. I know you all don't think we notice, but we do actually notice. Essentially, X received praise for having her hand on the computer. While this would be appropriate in a shaping strategy, there is no indication that this type of strategy was planned. The corrective verbal statements X received were not consistent. For example, she would give feedback such as no non-functional movement of objects when she touched a neighbor's materials, but this only happened occasionally. Okay, so these are kind of nonsensical, Dr. Freda. I'm going to call you out, too. <clears throat> you 
yes, it needs to happen every time that she touches her neighbor's materials. And the odd verbiage makes it kind of ridiculous. I can't. I can't with either side anymore. The whole thing needs an overhaul. Just saying. Massive overhaul over a lot of nonsensical stuff. Many opportunities were missed. Okay, so she wants you to say every single time. No non-functional movement of objects. First of all, that's a nonsensical statement to someone. I mean, no, it makes sense. It does make sense. But who talks like that? In the real world, who talks like that? Do they say no non-functional movement of objects or do they say stop that? They like to overcomplicate things, and it's not just the JRC who does it. If you want to help develop social skills, part of that is on you. When you are saying that they need to stop using an object in a certain manner, using a statement like no non-functional movement of objects is not necessary when a much more simpler alternative is right there and it actually better matches what they're going to see out in the real world. You're going to hear stop that. Stop. Stop doing that. No, that's not how you do that. There's a lot of variations on it, but no one's sitting there saying no non-functional movement of objects. This is not a natural sentence that you're going to find out there in the neurotypical wild. Okay? Nobody talks like that. You can't help build decent social skills and teach them when you're using abnormal sentences to communicate something that can be done much more done bleh, can be done much more simply as it would be said out there in the real world to be followed up by maybe showing them the function of the object the mentioning that many opportunities to tell or not to do so were missed fair enough but let's not use an overcomplicated, abnormal sentence that you're not going to encounter anywhere outside the medical bottle. Similarly, the prompts of no stopping work and no hand play were not consistently implemented. Many instances of these behaviors occurred with no feedback. This is the thing that pisses me off. One of the things that the new school is guilty of is they want to stop the stems because it's not normal behavior. Neither is alcoholism. You all do a lot of things that could be considered abnormal, but no one comes down on you because it's considered normal. If my hand play, when I play with my sleeves or play with my hairband, or I'm just sitting rocking back and forth to the music. I know how you normies hate the rocking. If it's not hurting anyone, who are you to judge? If I am stimming and it is helping me deal with a moment of being overwhelmed in a way that is not in any way, shape, or form harming anyone else, why? Is that so frowned upon that you try to force it out of us? One of, the, one of the things that causes autistic burnout, this insistence that it can be only considered progress when we look, act, speak, walk, talk, and move like you. That's not progress. You're not trying to better my life and that's... Or, by that sort of way of being. Okay? That's not progress. That's not acceptance. That is, once again, you neurotypicals trying to hammer square pegs into round holes. 
by trying to force us by means of behavior modification to be just like you. Here's the thing. No amount of behavior modification or so-called brainwashing techniques is going to change how my brain is shaped and how my neurons fire. The only thing that you're getting out of doing this sort of thing is teaching me the mask. I've told you all before how exhausting masking is. It is one of the leading causes to autistic burnout. One of the leading causes. There are ways of going about things that doesn't force me to change everything that is fundamentally what makes me up as a human being. See, I'm the cranky autistic. Getting old. I don't care if my stimming makes you feel ashamed. I don't care if you're embarrassed seeing me out there stimming and being my happy. I'm a ray of fucking sunshine, folks. Sorry, I try not to use that word on this channel because other people have been offended before. But if I'm out there stimming happily as a way to help process the world around me, I don't care if Miss Karen back there three about three feet back behind me is somehow offended that I get to enjoy my life because she thinks it's weird. Don't care. I'm old, I'm cranky, and I'm done. All right? I'm going to keep happily stimming. You don't like it? There's another side of the road, aisle, or wherever you are that you can be. It doesn't harm anyone. The whole no hand play. Don't, but you missed an opportunity to make them to be normal. You're not even normal, Karen. If you have staff sitting there counting positive and negative comments, you're not any more normal than I am. So, we've learned a lot for the past couple of paragraphs here. We're learning that the new school still has a long way to go. And that most of us would be a lot happier that the very limited dialogue between us and those who work in the service industry would be open so that there can be a flood. But, you know, in order for that to happen, a lot of people would have to let go of their egos. To put aside everything that they think they know. That they think we want. What they think motivates us. And put it in the garbage pail where it belongs. And finally get from individuals who actually have this diagnosis. In the various areas where we may have it and how it may affect us. And actually start listening. One of the reasons my state was progressive as it was for as long as it was, was here, there I was, sitting there, staring and autistic. I didn't fit any of their preconceived molds. And I think that it shocked them enough to actually start listening. A lot of things have changed. A lot of things have stayed the same. We've got a lot of work to do, folks. We should start with closing this horrific place down and bring it to the be a footnote in history like it should have been a long time ago. We're going to close on that. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time. And as always, folks, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. I'm going to go. I, I don't know. I, I need a snack. I'm cranky. And I should probably watch Foamy for the sake of my sanity. As always, folks, shameless plug. 
for foamy ill will press. You'll thank me later. Bye-bye, everyone.